Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, how are you doing? Everything okay? Hello, good evening. Hello, how was the weekend? I'm fine. Hello, I'm teacher. Fine. Okay, that's good. That sounds nice. Where did you go? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde fueron? No, go out. Stay in your house. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. I go to the beach. You went. You went to the beach. No. No. Oh, that's bad. That's too bad. In my house. Not in your house. Okay, but in the, in the house, it's safe. It's a safe place. Okay, good. That's the point. Little issue here. Okay, good. Now we're going to show uh, today we're going to start the section number four, right? Four. Yes. Eh, yes. Yeah. Ya presentaron todos sus ejercicios. De la unidad de la tres, ¿hay alguna pregunta? Algo que les haya quedado pendiente para que podamos resolver alguna duda o pregunta que tengan de las unidades anteriores. Yo lo quería preguntar. O, o todo clear como la horchata. Clear. Ok. Good, good, good. Then I'll show you the number four. Open, open, open. Okay, so we're gonna go to this one. Someone is here. Okay. Okay, so we have in the first objective is uh, in this class, you will learn clothes, for example, learn a uh, clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes, which you wear for work and for leisure. Leisure time is the, the time that you have free in your house. Okay, remember that the clothes that we have in, in our house is different uh, from the clothes that we have in the office, right? In the office, you know, we are more, more formal, more elegant, 
okay, or probably casual. But in the in the house, we are more relaxed, right? So it's is a uh, we use um, probably shorts, uh, tank tops, okay, no 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 sleeves, uh, t-shirts, okay. We have sandals, okay, no shoes, okay. So this is more more comfortable, okay, more relaxed. Uh, in the office, it's not possible, right? In the office, we need to have a formal shirt. Uh, we need to have uh, pants, formal shoes or casual shoes. Uh, for women, they have a uh, high heel shoes. So it is uh, kind of different clothes, okay? So this is, for example, the, this is the clothes for relaxing at home and clothes, clothes for work, okay? In the office or in your job. Now this is the vocabulary for clothes. See, for example, formal. This is informal, right? This is relaxed. Okay, and this is the other kind of for winter or more casual. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right-hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat. Sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, cap. T okay, here we have, for example, the, the shirt, right? This is the shirt, the tie. We have the belt, the jacket, the pants, the coat, coat, shoes. And for the lady, we have the blouse, okay, the blouse, the high heels, the skirt, the scarf, okay, the scarf, and that's it, right? Blouse, skirt, shoes, high heel shoes, and the scarf. The raincoat and the dress. Now, 
questions about these words? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Ok, see that, for example, para lo que nosotros llamamos saco es un jacket. Ok, y un abrigo es un coat. Este coat, por lo general, es cuando hace mucho frío y casi llega aquí a los, algunos casos a los tobillos y otros casos aquí abajito de la rodilla, right? Hay diferentes largos. Ok, so this is the coat and this is the jacket. Eh, the raincoat es para la lluvia, right? Y tenemos como capas, right? This is a raincoat, un abrigo para la lluvia. Okay, and for women, dress. The dress is the blouse and the skirt. And for the men, a jacket in the pants is a suit, un traje. Okay, it's a suit. Then on the other side, we have the hat, the gloves, in the hands, the gloves, the boots, the jeans, the sweater. For the men, we have sneakers like the tennis shoes, sneakers, the socks, the shorts, t-shirt, and the cap. To sleep, pajamas, I have the pajamas, right? And to go to the beach or the swimming pool, we have the swimming suits. T-shirt. Shorts. Suits. Now is your turn. Swarms. Okay. So then here, for example, say, uh, wear a t-shirt, jeans, socks, shoes, among others to work. I wear pajamas for sleeping. Okay, good. This is a good post. Uh, for example, you can write here another one. Okay. Is at home. And you can write at home. I wear a shorts, sandals, and a tank top. Okay, uh, work, wear a uh, shirt, pants, and shoes. Okay, you see, this is at home and this is at work. Okay, ahora en el chat, o si gustan aquí mismo, right? In the post. Okay, you can write lo que, lo que visten en su casa, at home y lo que visten en el trabajo. You can use the chat. You can use the post. At home. I 
where uh, cap a begins in a t shirt. Okay, that's another one. Okay, escriban, escriban una oración. Ya sea en el trabajo o en la casa. Lo que se les ocurre. What? No. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta no le entendí muy bien a la pregunta que hizo. ¿Qué quiere? Eh, no, ahorita la, no es pregunta, sino que ahí está. Van a escribir, así como por ejemplo ella acaba de escribir, dice at home, lo que escribiste en casa. At home, I wear short. Blouse and sandals, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que eh, visten en casa? Eh, por ejemplo, aquí tienen en shorts, blouse, una blusa y sandales. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí dice, at home I wear a dress, un vestido, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que se ponen en casa? La, la ropa así como de relax. Ok. ¿No? Y también la oración, así como, aquí lo voy a poner en el chat, I wear, y ahí le ponen tres puntos, y ahí pone este, yo visto, o me pongo, o me visto, y ponen dos, tres prendas, depende, right? Si es un vestido, es una. Y las sandalias, o zapatos, o tenis, ok. I, um, I wear a t-shirt, short and sandals. I work, I wear a t-shirt, jeans and sneakers. Okay, good. Yes, Brandon, no problem, good. Okay, before that, I dress at home in shorts and a blouse, okay. Uh, Lillian, in this day I dress, you say I wear. When they get wear, es como Vestir o usar, ¿verdad? Yo uso, obviamente, de ropa, I wear. Ok, Blanca, ese at home. Vean el orden de las palabras que yo les pongo, es el mismo. At home, I wear. Pants and blouse. Estamos bien. Pero sí. Ok. No. Uh, at home, I wear. En casa yo visto. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, at home, I wear short and pants. Yes. A wear. At home, I wear shorts and blouse, okay? Yes, my love. Good. At home, I wear pyjama, okay? 
Você quer andar com pijama todo dia, todo domingo? Yes? No? <laughs> yes. Ok, Ivani. No, teacher. No. Yes, Ivani, yes. Ivani says yes. It's okay, sometimes. You know, it's, ah, yeah, so it's domingo. Nah, no worries. Okay, good. It's possible. I have they see at home I wear I wear what? At home I wear a dress. A dress. I wear sandals, short and blouse. Okay. I con lento oscuro, you know, glasses. Sunglasses. Good. Okay. Okay, this is, you know, to describe, for example, things that you put on, right? Uh, shoes, uh, all my wear a dress, shorts and sandals. Okay, good. Um, now at work. At work. I dress, I wear a shirt, pants, socks, and shoes. Okay, at work I wear a shirt, pants, socks, and shoes. At work, I wear a dress and high heel. Yes, okay, good. It's good, 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 Jenny. Yes, Adela, at work, I... This is for, okay, for a lady, but on the dama, you say I work, I wear a shirt, jeans, and tennis shoes, okay. You say I work, I wear a blouse, blouse, um, a skirt, and I heels upon hands in some cases, right? Just para una señora, señorita, I say at work, I wear a blouse, okay, a skirt, and high heels. At work, I wear jeans, blouse, and tennis shoes. Okay. Good people. Okay, so remember this is for example to to tell people, for example, what you wear, what you wear at home, and you what you wear at work. Remember that at work is formal. At work, I wear comfortable pair of shoes. I wear a blouse, and I wear a skirt, and I wear glasses. Okay, good Adela. Good, good, fine. Then, this is, for example, what they have for this one. It says, in this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. Now, no questions with the vocabulary from this video? Alguna palabra que sea nueva, que no, no la conozcan, no problem. 
Hello, teacher. Yes, Samuel. Work over jeans, blouse. Fíjese que eh, todas las palabras que usted ha dado hoy, la mayoría no, no, no mucho las conocía. Okay. Y hay otras que las conocía con otro, con otro, como, como significado. Uh -huh. Por lo menos esa de, la de pants. Yo pensaba que solo era una palabra en español, pero es en inglés, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Ajá, eso. Jacket, eh, sí, pero para mí es chaqueta y es saco, dice usted. Uh -huh, uh -huh. El que nosotros conocemos como, como uh, eh, el saco, right? Eh, hay diferentes, eh, let me see, for example. Ah, no, pero aquí no puedo. Sí, la, la mayoría de palabras de, or, de hoy son nuevas para mí. Sí, porque la, bueno, la chaqueta es como un blazer en inglés y, y el chaleco es como aquel que no tiene mangas, right? Se pone con corbata y encima va el, el la jacket. Y por lo menos en, okay. en, yes. en de, de trabajo, el work, eh, camisa manga larga y manga corta siempre se dice igual. No, es different. Eh, for example, Different. you have the. Okay. Voy a tener que buscar un video para aprenderme en esas palabras. Está, yes. Eh, let me see. Where is this? My video. No. Let's show you them here. Okay, here we have a uh, short. Sí, mira, hay varios videos. Lo problema es que a veces, uh, por cuestiones de derechos de autor, hay algunos que no se los. O sea, yo podría, pero eh, habría problemas con, con subir el video a YouTube. Okay, so that's. Uh, let me see. Ahorita ya las pongo aquí las palabras. Me dijo short sleeve. Short sleeve. Este es camisa uh, short sleeve shirt. Una camisa manga corta. Y la otra es long. Long sleeves. Uh, long sleeves shirt. Entonces, mangas es sleeves. Y shorts, corto, long, es largo. Let me see. Okay, what else? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Repeat. How do you say eh, pasarillo in Spanish? In English, perdón. But uh, that would be like, this similar to, to shorts. Let me see. Es igual. Yeah, because there is another word. Then we have leotards. Los leotardos son como aquellos pegaditos, ¿verdad? Eh, let me see what else. Yes, it would be the same. Okay. And uh, let me show. What is this? Turn something on the screen. <laughs> okay, good. Then uh, what else do we have? Then we're gonna move to this one. And the daily life. Now listen to this. Hi everyone. 
In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Let's start by looking at... Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. <clears throat> Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Okay, so we have great. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? Okay, now repitan ahí en casa, okay, sin encender el micrófono, para que, para que no interfiera, pero sí pueden repetirlo en casa. Okay, great. Our clothes are dry. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? Where's my new blouse? What color is it? What color is it? It's white. It's white. Here's a light blouse. Uh, sorry, sorry. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Wait, 
wait it is mine it is mine it's a disaster it's a disaster oh no all our clothes are light blue oh no all our clothes are light blue here's the problem here's the problem it's these new blue jeans it's these new blue jeans whose jeans are they whose jeans are they oh they're mine sorry oh they're mine sorry okay what is the meaning of whose whose jeans are they what is this question let me say whose jeans are they okay let's see we have here Oscar uh, significa de quién son estos jeans yes uh, yeah show me qué tiene en su mano derecha uh, la chica the girl. No, en su mano derecha, en la suya. En la suya, su, suya de usted. Your right hand. What do you have? On the cell phone. Ah, okay. Good. Okay, Oscar. Whose cell phone? Okay, whose cell phone? Is that? ¿Quién es? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la primera palabra? Who's? 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 Okay, who's? Thank you. All right. Whose cell phone is that? Then Nelson, uh, Oscar would say it's. It's my cell phone. It's my cell phone or it's mine. My cell phone or it's mine. It's me. Okay, it's mine. Or you can say hey, Mr. Lula, right? But this has been possessive, right? The king. Then here you can say, whose, whose book is that? Whose house is that? The king is a casa. Whose dog is that? The king has a perro. Okay, whose, um, whose TV is that? Okay, uh, whose money is that? The king has a dinero. Okay, so you can use cualquier cosa, right? Whose Después de who's, ponen el nombre del objeto, right? Jeans, cell phone, money, car, house. Pueden ser personas. Pueden ser whose son is that? Okay, whose son is that? Whose son? Ahí pueden poner is he. Y él es hijo de quién? Well, the king is equal, well, right? Got it? So then you can use whose. 
Okay. Then the question when you say, um, uh, they're mine, sorry, whose genes are they? Genes here because it's plural, okay? And the other one is singular. Teacher. Yes. One the question what and the color. color. Is it? It... Eh, eh, cuando dice light and there, se puede aplicar a todos o solo a ciertos colores así como en la en el video. No, a todos, a todos los que tengan un color oscuro y uno claro. <laughs> Thank you. Para, uh -huh. Para que todos los colores light. Es como azul, tiene azul oscuro y azul claro, que es verde claro, verde oscuro y el okay. es la tonalidad. Tenemos verde, verde, right? Y un verde. Un verde. No, no problem. A cualquier color. No cabe, creo que es en el, en el blanco. Y... Blanco claro. Se nos va a salir el chuchito. Es decir, y no muerde. Ok. Good. Tiene ganas de jugar, hombre. Nice. Ok, good. Y, y está algo chiquito. Okay, good. So then we have the colors. Brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Here's my new blouse. What color is it? Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go to the breakup rooms. Okay, vamos a... Uh, pero, se pueden ver esa conversación después, ¿verdad? Lo voy a poner a trabajar en tríos, así como aquel día en grupos, para que practiquen esa conversación. Ok, se van turnando para la pronunciación. Y luego van a hacer preguntas de objetos que tengan ahí eh, en su... cerca de ustedes, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo les muestro esto de acá. Let me see. Ok, this one. ¿Cómo me preguntarían? ¿Cuál would be the question? Who's? Who's go? This one? How do you say, what is this? Peine, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, ¿Cepillo? Uh, peine es con, pero este es cepillo. Brush, ajá. Uh -huh. Brush. Who's? Who's brush? Ajá. Uh -huh. Is that? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Whose brush is that? They say it's, uh, it's mine. Okay, it's mine. Okay, it's mine. Uh, if I ask you, for example, let me see. The first one. What is this? Who's, what is this? Uh huh. Who's is not the book? 
Whose notebook? Whose notebook? Uh huh. Whose notebooks? Uh huh. Whose notebook? Whose notebook? Not notebook. Uh, is that okay? Whose notebook is that? You say it's my daughter's. It's my daughter's. It's the me, right? It's my daughter's. Okay, it's my daughter's. Let me write it here. Okay, I'm gonna write it's my daughter's. Oops, me que que faltó la daughter's. Okay, ahora sí salió daughter's. Sí, bueno, la apostrofe es. It's de mi hija. It's my daughter's. Okay? Puede decir, it's my father's. It's my brother's. It's my husband's. It's my wife's. It's my sister's. Okay? Or it's mine. Good. Okay, tenemos 10 minutos. Okay, 10 minutos para hacer la pregun las preguntas, practicar la conversación y vamos a practicar 10 minutes ok we're gonna have one two four five seven here we go Procuren entrar todos para que puedan practicar. Hay más o menos tres en cada uno. Brown, black, gray, green. Which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Hello, Jocelyn. Teacher, eh, ¿qué es lo que íbamos a practicar a las oraciones de Jus? La conversación que les acabo de poner ahí en el chat. Ah, uh, pero es que no me aparece. Ahí en la cueva. ¿Alguien más la puso? ¿Madre? ¿Alguien más la Hay dos. Es la misma imagen, pero hay dos. 
ese diálogo que aparece ahí es el que van a practicar. ¿Ya le apareció? No. No, no parece. ¿En el WhatsApp? Para que usted esté en el otro grupo. No creo. Ahorita, ahorita acaba de caer. Ah, va, ok. Sí, gracias. Ok. Entonces hay que practicar ese y luego hacerse preguntas, ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, good. Ya lo encontró. Sí, eh, al WhatsApp lo ha mandado. Ajá. No, WhatsApp. Ahora. Eh, hago yo de, de, de pi o hacemos las preguntas. Hagamos las preguntas. Ok, búscate tu objeto. Uh. Fácil, pencil. Ah, oh, no, verdad, este, yo te lo tengo que decir. Yes, pero pone tu cámara porque no veo el objeto que me vas a mostrar. Espera, ahorita. Ahí va. Oh, who, who, preguntame pues yo te contesto. Ah. <risa> Um, Vas a decir whose mirror, whose mirror is that? Whose, whose qué? Um, no, me imagino que voy a responder no. Y no You say, for example, uh, whose mirror, whose mirror is this? Ah, whose mirror is this? Si pregunta Ivania. Y si pregunta usted, Jenny, le puede preguntar a Ivania. Ivania, whose mirror is that? Ah, okay. ¿De quién es ese mirror, Ivania? Whose mirror is that? Sería it. It's, 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 my, it's my, mine, okay, it's me, it's mine. It's my. Okay, y si le pregunta a usted, uh, Jenny, le dice, Jenny, whose mirror is this? Porque usted lo tiene en su mano. Whose mirror is this? It's y Jenny le va a decir, it's yours. Es Suyo o tuyo, ok, depende. It's yours. Mm, okay. ok, ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ok, entonces yo ahora ya te pregunto. Mm, book, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, who's. Who's. Who's book is that? Is this? Is this? Que lo tiene en su mano. Okay. Who's my it disaster? Oh no! All all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem: it's this new new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. there's my sir. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Vaya, voy a hacer Julie. Julie, vaya. Entonces, vuelvo a iniciar. Great. Our, clo our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Air a light blue blog. It's it yours. No, it's, it's not. Hola. 
Hello, finished practice? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Then we're going to, yeah, in a minute we'll leave entonces. Okay, thank you. Como es, this is. This there. Uh-huh. Oh no, I'll, I'll, or closet, I leave. You. Yours. Yours, the light blues. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Is it no, it's not mine. No, it's not, it's mine. not mine. Why? 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 It's it's, it is mine. It's, it is mine. 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 It's mine. It's a disaster. It's, it's a disaster. A disaster. disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Uh -huh. It's Oh no. All all clothes are light blue. The clothes oh, no. are light blue. All clothes are blue. blue. All our clothes are light blue. And light blue. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It, it is. is it is the problem. This new blue jeans. This new blue jeans. New blue jeans. Jeans are gray. Touching Jim are play. Oh, they are my sorry. Oh, they are my sorry. 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 Okay. Good. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay, people. Now we're going to back go back to this main room. Mm. Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good. No. I, I, have, I have problem in the pronunciation. Uh-huh. With what? Some... <laughs> pronunciation with what? Um, in the new... Uh, in the new... No, no sé, las nuevas oraciones. The new sentence. Como que, <coughs> sí, que como, como van, van incluidas ya nuevas palabras, algunas que no las conozco, como que, okay. como que, como que se me atraviesa todo. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, that's true. No, but uh, it's, it's, um, let's say, podríamos llamarle normal, right? In one sense, that obviamente palabras nuevas van a van a requerir de práctica, right? Before, antes de, de asimilar la pronunciación, ¿ok? Eh, y por eso es que se hacen los, los ejercicios de repetición y este otro tipo de ejercicios, y incluso a veces así no, no es suficiente. Por eso es que la ventaja que tienen ustedes ahorita es que pueden regresar en su plataforma a escucharlo tantas veces como, como sea necesario hasta que puedan... Eh, y cómo es que se llama captar el, la pronunciación y luego pueden hacer uso de la se acuerdan aquel eh, link del bukaru.com ok el bukaru.com es este cómo es que se llama otro otra opción que tienen eh, vamos eh, para no ya no nos queda chance qué rápido se me va la hora con ustedes creo que ustedes me hacen trampa me adelantan el reloj verdad ya vi Acabo de ver que eran las 8.45 y eran las 9. 
Este, vamos a usar, la otra que vamos a hacer, usar tal vez con, vamos a hacer WhatsApp también para hacer una conversación, pero vamos a ver cómo logramos encajar para que hagan ustedes las lecturas, ¿ok? Y, y me las envíen, que esa es otra forma de practicar también. Ok, eh, let me see, we have uh, just one more time. Vamos a ver, oírla y verla una vez más la conversación before we go. Esto acá. ¿Se alcanza a leer ahí? Sí. O lo, quizás más grande, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Sí. Ok. Yes. Ok, 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 ok. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and okay. repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe. <clears throat> Let's listen and repeat. Great. Our clothes are dry. Okay, y esta es una forma de practicarlo. Escuchan una oración y luego lo pausan. Great. Our clothes are dry. Y lo repiten, right? Where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? What color is it? it what color is it? It's white. It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Y puede incluso imitar la entonación, right? Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Wait. Wait. It is mine. It is mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? So that's the tone of my head, right? Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, and then you se ve la entonación, okay, de cómo lo dice. Okay, entonces esta es otra práctica de cómo hacerlo, right? Y si ven que nos tardamos dos minutos, unas tres, cuatro veces que lo hagan y van a ir viendo ustedes la, la fluidez que poco a poco se va adquiriendo. ¿okay? Diez minutos y lo han, lo han leído cinco veces. Ok, with that toes. Ok, nice people. Thank you very much for your time. Eh, tomorrow we continue with the practice. Ok, and pronunciation. So, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a nice rest of the night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, Good night teacher. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's white. See you next.